This is special, special guy. You can go ahead and introduce yourself. Yeah, man. yeah. Hey, man. Uh, yeah, good morning. Uh, been knowing you for 31 years. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? How's it going? It's good, man. And I can't believe when you called me yesterday and told me what happened. And, uh, you know, we can't wait to hear about it. Nick, what okay. happened yesterday? Um, so yesterday I have a floor care business. We do all kind of cleaning, um, from carpet cleaning to air duct cleaning. Yesterday I had an air duct client, uh, and we basically, man, me and another contractor of mine who work, does a lot of work with me, we went to service the woman's house. We serviced her house in maybe 45 minutes. Uh, we could clearly see that she was a pregnant lady. Um, she asked if we could do a dryer vent service for her right before leaving. I mean, we had already packed up. All our other equipment, the vans are ready to roll out, get on to the next job. Um, and came back upstairs, and the lady is full blown in labor. Mm, wow, wow. And what, what, and, and and so what say, happened? When I say full blown in labor, I mean she's full blown in labor. She's having contractions. She was asking me if I was able to drive her to Eastside Medical, which is a medical center right up the road. Uh, and the, and initially I was gonna drive her, and something in me was just like, you know what, just call the emergency wagon. And she's like, oh, I don't know, those are expensive. And I'm like, listen, lady, I have to call this wagon. Um, we get on the phone with 911. The call was 11 minutes and like 46 seconds long. I text my fiance, and I was like, listen, I'm about to have to deliver this woman's baby. Uh, the operator literally told me like. The ambulance is on the way. They're going to get there as soon as possible, but I have to prepare you guys to deliver the baby. So we went into full-fledged baby delivery, OBGYN uh, mode. Um, I have three kids. So you had so, to put a you know, I just. I, so, so what you yeah, do to get ready for the towels. delivery? Uh, so the young guy, man, he ran to get towels, blankets. The lady was very cooperative. She was actually very calm. Um, I know that she was in a lot of pain, but she was actually very calm yeah. uh, to be about to deliver a baby, um, mm. especially with a guy like me just standing in front of her who came to clean your air duct. Um, <laughs> like I say, she was fully clothed. She was fully clothed, so we had to take all her clothes off, man. Um, her husband was on the phone the whole time, so that made me feel a little more comfortable. He stayed on the phone through the whole 15, 16-minute ordeal. Yeah. Um, wow. yeah, so we, we put the towels down. We take her clothes off. She had already had her suitcase and stuff ready. Like I said, I was going to actually take her to the hospital initially. But, yeah. of course, the, the weather was horrible here yesterday. Uh, so I just didn't feel comfortable doing that. So, yeah, man, we, we, we got the baby out of there in 11 minutes total. Uh, we just laid her on our back. I followed close to what the uh, dispatch, what the 911 dispatcher was telling me to do. Um, as far as just keeping the lady calm, man, it was a lot of you're doing a good job, you're doing a good job, you're doing a good job. All the way to the baby girl slid out. Uh, she's telling me stuff. It's so how many times she had to push, out. Nick? Mm. Uh, she didn't push it out. She, she, the, the, the lady literally was like, you know, how, how far apart of her contractions, and she's like screaming at this point, like I just know it's pressure, and I'm like, all right, let me snatch these clothes down. And literally, as I was pulling down her underwear. You could see the afterbirth like coming out of the sides of it. Wow. So as soon as I as soon as I got her uh as soon as we got her her drawers off, we the the baby slid right out to me. I like, I like this version. I like this version of the story. <laughs> so Nick I mean the baby slid right out to me. So the baby did the baby shoot out like remember that episode in Martin? <laughs> no, 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 no. Actually, yeah, the baby slid out like slid out onto the tiles. Uh, we grabbed the baby. I had to take the afterbirth out. And what you do with the umbilical cord, you actually use your shoot string to pop the umbilical cord. But um, as we got to that part, I handed the lady her baby. Of course, she was, you know, screaming for the baby. So now I'm walking around with one of my work shoot strings gone. But uh, um, luckily, I didn't have to actually cut it myself. As soon as we were getting to that part, uh, the the EMTs were coming up the stairs. And, and, yeah, the Gwinnett County so, EMTs. Nick, how did you get the baby to cry? I mean, I had to take the afterbirth out of her mouth. I wiped it from her nose, wiped it from her eyes. Because at first, initially, the baby didn't cry. And I think that was the most intense part of it. It's like, okay, I know the baby's crying. As soon as they come out and the lady's asking, like, is the baby crying? Is the baby crying? And I'm like, no, not yet. And she's like, okay, well, you got to wipe out the afterbirth. Like, you know, we had to pull it out of her throat and stuff like that. 
with uh, one of the tiles, and um, right after that, the baby just started crying, man. She cried a lot. Uh, I have it on video. That was the most beautiful moment of it, but it wow. definitely was the intent, very, very intent and Nick, um, situation. And Nick, everybody need, and, and you got a carpet cleaning, uh, and this is your business. Yes. And, I and, clean carpets, air ducts, hardwood floors, tile and grout, and this is just a regular service tile, so, literally. So if anybody out there that's pregnant, that's <laughs> nine months pregnant, but they need their carpet clean, Nick, let, <laughs> let them know how can they follow you on social media where you can come just oh, in yeah. case. Yeah, let them know how they can find you, Nick. Yeah, so it's, it's Hands is in Cleaning LLC on uh, Instagram and Facebook. And our website is handsofzencleaning.com. Hands, H-A-N-D-S, of O-F. And Zen is my son, Z-E-N, cleaning.com. Man, Nick, we're so proud of you. You set him up, man. All these women ain't trying to pay that hospital bill about to call to get their (laughs) carpet (laughs) cleaned.